this is the plyometric exercise that I've really enjoyed giving runners lately. We've got a weight vest on, 10 kilo weight vest. We've got three hurdles, but you can just use cones. And we're gonna do double leg and single leg hopping. And the idea behind this is that we're trying to just improve our mechanics so that when we hit the ground, we're ready for it and we bounce right off. Yep. So we're aiming to do some really nice hops where we are snappy off the ground and we aim for good vertical height and good horizontal length. So we're aiming to go high and long, but also not to compromise our timing of the hop. So if you don't want to freeze on the ground and then go, we kind of want to hit the ground and then go off. Hit the ground and then go off. And aim for good vertical and good horizontal uh, length and height. So I've just placed these hurdles out to the length that feels specific for me. And then if that gets a bit easier, I'll space them out a bit longer so that I can do some better jumps. And we're just trying to turn us distance runners into more athletic types, especially as we get older. We never hop or jump enough. So just still learning how to do that skill. It's a very important part practice of running. And it's amazing how bad we can get at hopping if we don't practice it. So it just is really practicing that good, powerful, um, purposeful and timely push off on the ground so that we can maximize our power that we exert to the ground and that bounce in our tendons and, and uh, trampoline pogo-like effect that we can get if we really time our um, bounce well. So we can really get some pop if we've got the timing. All right, let's get going, that's enough talking. So we're gonna start with double leg jumps, we're gonna do five of them, walk back. And you're just trying to um, know if you're a bit out of control or you didn't get much vertical height or you didn't get much uh, horizontal length or if you didn't get the timing right so you stayed on the ground and weren't snappy enough. And then you walk back and you focus on that part of the skill. And then you, you just keep trying to perfect it over the five reps. During the walk back you think and you praise it and you get better at it. Then we're gonna do single leg five times on the right, single leg five times on the left. Same process, trying to perfect the hop. Then we get rid of the weight vest and we feel really powerful. So our power to weight ratio really improves and it's such a good feeling. So you feel like you've got this extra time and you feel like you're really good with the timing and powerful um, and you do the same same set. So double leg and some single leg without the weight vest. So five reps of each. All right, so let's go. Okay, I can aim to get a bit more vertical as always, being a, a slow marathoner. Okay, so try to get more pop. Uh, that one I could have been a bit more snappy. See, I'm trying to use my hands to get the, the balance of my, and my positioning of my body over my legs. Um, so yeah, it could be more snappy, so quicker off the ground. I think I've got the last one right there. So two more. Just be critical of yourself. That's probably your best one. One more. Now I'm going to choose one leg, I'll do right leg first, five of them, that was a shocker, I felt like I didn't get the timing at all, I really was stompy, and stayed on the ground planted, and then really struggled to get that reactive, that timing right, so get the timing better, snappy, a little bit better, still not getting much vertical either, that's two, Better. Three. Snappy and vertical. Yep, wasn't snappy. Got it a bit more height, maybe. Last one. That was a lot snappier. That was probably the best one. Still not brilliant, but it's a piece of work. Alright, left side. Yeah, that was good. Probably lacked that control on my left side. So I feel a bit all over the place, but feel reactively quick off the ground. A bit slow on that last hop. Alright, 
水摸，水管，啊，滑摸。Good. White vest off. Same routine. Without the white vest. So, chuck that off to the side. Double leg. Oh, that feels good. Minus 10 kilos and you just feel like you've got bounce. Okay. Yep, aim to get a bit of vertical. If you need to spread the hurdles out a bit, because you, you've got a bit more power, do it. So, spread the length. Yep, two more. that jump, improve the power, yeah, a bit longer, a bit higher, snappy. Nice, okay, two more, I think this is really low load on the legs, like, you're doing three jumps and walking back, um, it's definitely just a skill training, so don't be scared that this is going to, you know, really hurt your um, calf, especially if you're injury free, like, I don't think it's a huge change in load if you're doing this twice a week. Last two. Nice, one more. Okay, now single leg, okay? So do right first. Good. Feels so good after having that weight vest on. It's called potentiation, so it just warms everything up. And gives you just that feeling of timing and time. And power. Suddenly feel way lighter. Two more. Nice. One more. You kind of want to feel like a triple jumper, how they use their arms. And it's just that kinetic chain. So you're just timing that landing and up, timing that landing rather than stomp, whoop, think about it, oh, now go. All right, last one. Okay, left side, five more and we're done. Oh, I felt like a pogo stick. Felt great. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one more. Great, and that's done. I'd recommend that to any injury free runner who feels like they need to work on their hopping. And uh, yeah, he's pain free at the moment and uh, feels ready for it. They've done a fair bit of strengthening and they haven't explored running drills or how they apply force to the ground. Um, whoever's trying to work on trying to get a bit faster, uh, but I also think uh, it's improving how you move and potentially reducing the load on some body parts um, because you're becoming a kinetically smoother runner. Enjoy.